Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to the prompt today. This is, um, let's see, what is this? The third week of April for the Inspired to Create Challenge. Dun, dun, dun. Here's where I put out my pretty thing that I printed up that says the prompt on it. I, I literally don't have it. I, I don't have it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to go. We're going to have to wing it, you guys. That's how it's going to go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, here we go. I don't have it. I forgot it upstairs. Shoot. All right. I'm going to have some tea. I've never had um, chocolate flavored tea and it came in a sweet thing from Sweet Christy Biddleson. And it is it is quite delicious, I have to say. You guys, I literally don't have that silly thing that I printed out. Oh, you guys. Welcome. Welcome to the chaos. Welcome if you're new. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're just going to get to it. I will write up the hashtag at the end. I mean, for real, though. Do I really? All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Here's a piece of paper. I know. I know. If you guys have been participating, thank you so much. Um, I so enjoy watching your videos. So I really, I really think it's been fun and I never give myself enough space when I write this out, but it is hashtag inspired to <laughs> create underscore 2020. Three. Okay, there we go. That's as good as it's going to get tonight. Okay, so every week, Melissa and I, Melissa from Messy Missy Creates, uh, are giving up a prompt, just a, a word, and you can do whatever you want with it. We have been um, choosing to interpret the prompts with taking like each letter and choosing a word that goes with that letter and uh, making some sort of collage or something. I'm doing it in my creative daily journal because that's pretty much all I got time for these days. Not gonna lie. And other people are doing all sorts of things. You guys are so creative. So I absolutely love seeing what you're doing. Um, and so every week we also give ourselves like a little bit of a challenge. Like, um, how are we going to interpret the prompt? Right? So am I going to pick the prompts? Is she going to pick the prompts? We're going to pick them for each other, that sort of thing. And we've been kind of sticking to a schedule. So the first week of the month, we pick them ourselves. Like we get the word and we get to choose how we want to interpret it. Kind of fun. The second week of the month, we have been exchanging prompts. Like I pick the words for her. I text them to her and vice versa, right? also kind of fun. The third week, we have been asking other people to do it. I know, I know. Uh, some have gone a little bit more easily than others, I would say. Last month was super fun. And I had my daughter not only pick them, but come and create with me. And that was just such a joy. So my husband chose... Um, February's prompts. We had our, our February prompts. The word was actually date. And so we had our dates choose them. And that was a doozy, at least for me. And then, and then what did we do for March? I can't remember. Is that the week we went live? I can't remember what we did. No, well, cause we had an extra week anyway. Um, and then last month, oh, that's almost the same color. That's kind of a bummer. Last month, like I said, I had Rue choose them for me and she actually was home and got to, you know, create with me at my desk, which was super fun and I loved it. And so this, this um, time, you know, it's the boy's turn. So I texted my sweet son. He was away at a regatta. I was like, okay, dude, here's the deal. <laughs> I know it's not your thing. I know it's not a good time. Help your mama out. Help your mama out. And so he was so sweet and texted me back some fun prompts. Well, I don't know about fun, but yeah, fun. They're fun. And so I just, I love that he can be a part of my journaling, right? 
And so this whole month we're um, doing, you know, it is April. It is April. And so we have chosen some April themed prompts, if you will, maybe. And oh gosh, my colors are just tapped out. They're just not the colors they're supposed to be. I really want like, hmm, don't know if I'm going to get it. This one might be done, you guys. Ooh, not quite. I want it to be done so I can put it in the bucket, huh? I guess we could make a green that I want. You know what the word is. You see it coming. So we've chosen some prompts this week, this month, that uh, hopefully this might make brown because this is a weird... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out here. Um, kind of go along with the month. Well, Easter was this month, so we had an Easter prompt. We did have bunny. And this week, the word, as you can see, is earth. Because uh, it's Earth Day this Saturday. And so I thought it would be kind of fun. And so we are going to get this stamped out. I don't know if this one's going to work or not. I got to be honest. It's like not... All right, it is what it is. Our, oh, it's really light. Well, do I even dare? Do I dare? No, I don't. I don't. Do I? Oh, tempting. Tempting fate here, you guys. Let's see. Do I? Ooh, look it. Don't ever do this, okay? Don't try this at home. This is really not a good idea. I'm really wanting to do it though. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're living on the edge. That's as about as crazy as things get around here. Ooh. Okay, it's not it's not that much worse, let's be honest. All right. No problem. So we're gonna flip this baby over and I'm gonna do like this. Oh, I could have just put them on my prompt page or on my Okay, so that's how I clean them. I know some of you are like, Allison, didn't you just buy a stamp cleaner? I sure did. I broke my nose spend for like a dollar fifty stamp cleaner. If you were here, you know the story. All right, I'm going to put these away. I'm going to leave that one out because that sucker's getting used and we are going to put it in the be gone pile. How about that? All right, let's also do what we normally do. You guys know if you've been here for previous videos that it takes me a minute to get it all taken care of. And I don't know why I don't always pull three pieces of paper. Um, so what I did, you guys, this is the piece of paper that we have to work with today. This is the size of my journal today. And if anything, I'm missing a bigger journal. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. So let's do this. And again, this is a piece of plastic. It was like the cover to something that came. Oh, it was the cover to the die cuts that Melissa gave me, actually. And I like it because it does have a little rim on it. So if I do put smush paper in here, it doesn't squish all over my desk, which is nice. Oops, it squishes to the other side of the paper though. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. All right, we'll just get some more down here. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And we can add to it a little bit if we want. Isn't that nice? Oh, so much fun. Okay. All right, so what else? What else do we want to dip in here? Well, I always have my little handy stack of note cards. So we'll get some color on that. Yeah. Now you can do smush paper with anything. Markers work, right? That's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, if you haven't done markers obviously I mean any water soluble marker will do and you can just you know color and like Crayola's cheap uh, probably cheap crayon Crayola's work better probably I don't know um, so you can just do this this is this is fun too and then you can pick it up That's 
kind of fun. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Yeah, when I'm stressed or don't want to do anything or... <laughs> Let me tell you. Smush paper works every dang time. Come on now. All right. So now we have some little journal cards to journal with. That won't be a tonight thing. Okay. And we'll put this back up in its little thing. So the word is earth. Now let's see what my boy chose for me. Let's see what he chose. Okay. The words he chose were eat, Antarctica, raccoon, triangle, and heart. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, um, this is the page I have to work with. I'm going to show you my little journal I'm working in. I'm in love with it. This is my April journal. It's completely made out of trash. There are videos below in my make a journal. It's all trash. And there's my boy. There's my boy. Um, okay. This is, there's the tea I'm drinking right now. Decaf chocolate hazelnut. I will be buying this tea. This might, I, this might help me get off the coffee. I don't know. I absolutely, I go off and on coffee all the time. So this is the, this is the paper we have for today. This is Wednesday. So I am going to cover this up. And so I cut a piece of paper, right? So this is, and then here I'm going to write about our day. Obviously this is where I do today's journaling, but this will be, I am totally misspeaking. This is today. I will do today's journaling. This is tomorrow. I put the prompt on tomorrow, but I will journal about tomorrow on this day. This is the back of a Kleenex box, you guys. Is that not super cool? All right. So anyway, this is the piece of paper we're working with. That's how it fits into my journal. All right, let's go. So interesting, interesting prompts, right? So I have uh, a few things that I picked out. Let me see. I might be able to get you in here a little bit closer. I know some people are kind of like, sometimes your camera's out too far. So let me see if I can do that. Okay. So eat, I, I mean, eat is so much fun. Cause I mean, any, like you could do food. You could, there were so many pictures. I just looked in magazines and everything else. I mean, even if you were to, you could put a sticker on there of some food, right? Like those are some of my favorite foods, pretzels, sushi, pineapple. Like we could just Okay. All of it. Oh, yeah. So, but what I found was this really cool fork. Now, literally until this exact second, when I pulled it out for you, I, I did not realize that it does not fit onto my page. <laughs> not even close, not even close, unless we're going to go like over the page. I don't know. So this, this is what I pulled out recipes. I had, um, I did have some fun. There's one other picture I almost pulled and I'm curious if that one would fit better. I have said more than once that this journal is actually smaller than I would like. And, um, yeah, it's interesting. So for right now, we're dealing with this fork situation, which, hmm, interesting. Okay, so fork for eat. Antar Antarctica was a little bit tougher. I did, oh, I actually have one more book I can look in, but I did just go online and, and pull up a map of Antarctica. Now this is, yeah, this is one of the places my boy wants to go in his lifetime. And I have no doubt that he will make it there, but I, I think it's pretty fascinating. Now, obviously the whole thing, well, I shouldn't say, obviously we have some room to work. This is like the size of the paper. We could do some sort of fold out, right? That would give us a whole bunch of room. We could make a whole big page. Maybe we'll do that. It looks like a placemat. Okay. So this is what I have for Antarctica. I did just pull up a map. Like I said, we'll cut it down or something. Raccoon, you guys, this one took me like, I'm not joking an hour. If you want to talk about time, I'll never get back in my life. I, I don't know. Okay. I found this little sticker of Antarctica or a little raccoon, which I thought was kind of a sticker stuck to my finger. Now this little guy, and he has a little stocking cap on it and he's blue and I really like him and I think he's cute, but he wasn't. And this is like out of a flow book. Oh my God. Okay. Out of a flow book. I think it's like a label anyway. 
So we have him. However, I did go online and I looked at like drawings or doodles of raccoons or something. And I really like him. And I just, I think he looks happy. Like he's going to eat. He's so excited. He's going to eat. So I think this little guy, um, maybe we'll put him on today's page. Like as a reminder that we did the raccoon page. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So that's, um, raccoon. Now triangle's interesting. I just went through my scrapbooking paper and I, and I found this cool piece and I just think like it goes kind of with the colors and stuff. I have other pieces of triangle. I mean, we could certainly draw triangles. We could paint triangles. We could, but I'm trying to use my stash. I do have one interesting, like I don't have a lot of washi with triangles. Now that being said, I do have one I know of that's like purple, but that did not call to me. And so I, this piece of paper is fine. Like it's fine. And then heart, I don't know. Heart I don't have, but we can punch a heart. Okay. As soon as I find my heart punch, which I may or not have to get up to get. Uh, do I have to get up to get it? Mm, I may have to get up to get it. Hold please. I try not to get up once I am down. <laughs> um, so that's, we're going to make a page. We could just do that. We could just glue it all like that and make a bunch and be done. Ooh, let me tell you. First of all, it is late. I got home from work at, uh, well, you know, I go to the work and then I go to the work. I go to work and then to the gym. And then I get home at like eight o'clock. So, and my husband and I had to have some talk this evening, we have some stressful news today with the family. It's, yeah, hard to, yeah, hard to be a parent when your kids are having tough days. And um, so we, we had to have some talk tonight and just kind of debrief and love on our boy a little bit because he got some bad news today. Nothing, you know, he's just really disappointed, so it's okay. Like that's, it's life and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, hard, hard mama heart day. So, uh, we needed a little connecting time at the end of the day to, well, make our plan, right? <laughs> of how we're going to conquer the world. All right. Um, yeah. So interestingly enough, I am, hmm. Let me see here. I'm tempted by this, by this possibility of a fold out. So let me just get this down to the, the, the size we need. I do like this Antarctica up here. So I'm going to take that as opposed to like, I mean, in essence, I should kind of center this, but I'm not going to, I'm going to bring it all the way up here. Right. So I just, and I forgot the measurement on this. So I'm just going to double check, but all right, we're at like seven, seven and a half very clearly. All right. So let's clean this. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, I'm even tempted to leave that white edge on there if we're gonna No, cause it's going to fold in. Okay. I was going to put something on it and then, all right. So we'll cut off the edges of this map. And then because, uh, I'm going to keep this whole edge, I don't, I don't have to center it. So I can just bring it to seven and a half this way. And cut it. We don't lose too much of the key or anything like that. So, this is the first decision we're going to make. So let's get out the book. The, the selling point is if I keep it as a fold out, we get to use the big fork, right? That's the, all right, let's, okay. So this is the page it's going on. And so it's either, I mean, it's not even half you guys. 
I mean, even if we folded it in half, it would still be like too big. Well, it's not too big. Other things stick out more. Hmm. Well, and then it would fold out this way. We could I don't know. Otherwise, we're dealing with just half, right? And that's fine. I mean, we could, I mean, I can run it over a little bit. I could run it, you know, because I already have these things over here. And the pages are a little different sizes. I just have to be a little careful, but we could run it we could run it a little bit further and leave us less room to document about our day tomorrow. Although I have some stuff going on tomorrow. I'm going to leave myself the whole page tomorrow. I mean, it's already tiny, right? We could cut this off and use like the center. Obviously, I like the blue because of this and, you know, it kind of matches. I mean, look, we're not going to do a, a amazing collage, beautiful thing today. We're going to put a fork on it, a heart and a raccoon. I mean, it's not brain science tonight. We're, we're putting these suckers down and we're calling it done. Um, <laughs> I actually like the fold out. So that's very interesting because that actually means we don't need this piece of paper, right? Okay, so if I'm just going to cover this whole thing and I'm going to do this, what I normally do is put a pocket here to put my prompt in. And I have been kind of sliding them in this way. But I also don't need to do that because we have all of this space. Okay, so that means this entire sheet <laughs> this is actually very funny. This entire sheet can get glued down. Now, let me tell you why it's funny. I mean, maybe you had to be there. I don't know, but I'm going to tell you the story anyway. So last night, as I was preparing to do this, I cut this piece of paper like down. So I'd have it when I got home tonight to do this. And I glued this whole page and I spread it all around. And I went to put my piece of paper down and I was like, oh, shoot, I don't want the piece of paper to go down because I don't journal in my book and, and I leave a pocket. I'm like, obviously exhausted and stop being a ding dong, Allison, right? So I just smeared it and I let it dry clear is what I did. This, this page already has a nice healthy layer of glue on it. That's okay. We're going to put more glue on it. We're going to cover up this lady doing her laundry. Because we, we don't need none of that. Is there a chore you hate? I mean, don't get me wrong. Laundry is not the chore I hate. Laundry, laundry is, I don't like any chores. I'm not going to sugarcoat that either. But um, laundry is not the chore I hate. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be so harsh with it. I don't even like, I don't even mind doing laundry. I, I struggle with like the folding and the putting in the way. I'm a good washer. <laughs> you know, the easy part, the sorting and the putting in the thing and, and moving it to the dryer normally before I have to rerun it in the washer. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know why the folding, I don't know why the folding and the putting away is so, I don't know what it is. What about you? Do you guys, I don't know. Is there part of laundry? Some people love it. You guys, some people are like, it's just so relaxing. I love folding clothes. I, and I'm like, I so strive to be like you. I, but I am not like, I, I don't know. I remember when we had little guys, we had, I had a really amazing, amazing mommy club and that we just kind of self found. Oh, see this page is not even big enough. That's funny. Look, see, it doesn't cover the top. It's not as 
not as big as this page is. And I put it down and it just stuck. Like it's not going anywhere and I can't even move it. So this is where we're at. Okay. So I remember when we were little, we had a mommy club that was just amazing. We had play dates and like the whole, I just, and I still talk to most of them. It's just awesome. But when our little guys were peapods, we used to have like laundry parties. And I know that sounds weird, but like we would, it, because we had play dates every week and we would rotate houses. And so we would just bring our laundry buckets, right? And like fold socks and baby clothes and whatever at each other's houses, because why not? You're going to do it in front of your TV anyway. So anyway, I don't know. You guys literally, I, I, I don't know what this whole, okay. My envision, my vision was this little guy is like so excited. Look how excited he's, he's like, it's time to eat. He's so happy. Um, and so I think I want to cut him out kind of to match. And it says raccoon on there. It's actually funny. I, I don't know whose artwork it is. It, it was not credited. I, but I'm not selling it or anything, but this is not my artwork. I look on the back, like there's a name. Uh, I printed it on my Canon selfie. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. So sorry about that. But if this, if this is your artwork, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. I did not like steal it with the intention of stealing it. I'm not selling it. I'm just using it for enjoyment. So anyway, um, what, what, what? Yeah. I'm feeling like this, I don't know. I am feeling like this, uh, this page is like almost too easy. Look at him. He's like, yes to this. Let's go eat. I'm loving this giant fork. I cannot explain how much I love it. And I'm sad it doesn't fit on the page. Literally, it's still coming up here. I mean, I don't want it. Oh, that just makes me sad. I mean, we might have to put it like this. <laughs> Look how cute he is. He's like, let's eat. Okay, so I think he goes somewhere like that. And then I don't know what to do with this. Unfortunately, like this is the piece I have. We could look for another piece, but I don't think it's big enough to make my heart because if it is, that problem is solved. Holy cow, it is. Look at, look at, look at. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is just unbelievable. I'm trying to get that white triangle in the heart and it's not going to go. Like it's not quite going to make it. I know I can't get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Um, eat Antarctica raccoon triangle and heart. Oh my gosh. It's just going to happen. All right. So I think I think, I think what we'll do, look how fun those are. I think what we'll do is cut a few of these then. And I don't think I can, I think I got to keep cutting off. All right. So super simple page tonight. Um, I don't know. I, you guys, some of your prompts, I am, I am literally blown away. Some of your artwork, when you're making these pages, you are so creative. I don't feel like I'm being that creative with these, especially like, like this one. I actually happen to really like this page, but I mean, some of you are just so inspiring with how you're interpreting the prompts. I'm really um, impressed and really appreciate you guys like sharing uh, your creativity. I love that so many people are doing so many fun things with it. So, all right. Now we could use like some of these if we wanted the outline, but I'm tempted, I'm tempted to just put the hearts, um, you know, kind of, kind of on here like this ish. That works. I like that he's I had the envision that he was kind of holding the fork, but I, I get that's not going to happen. So just kidding. Um, I get that's not going to happen. Now, before I make any life decisions here, I'm going to cut off. I'm going to cut off just 
a little bit here. We're, we're still going to know where we're at. We're still going to have the markings. It'll just give us enough that we make sure. And I could even fold it in just an ooch more, huh? Okay, so I think, I think that will work. Okay, let's do that. Let's glue on a fork, shall we? It came out of an art book that I bought at the thrift store years ago. And so obviously the downside is the art on the other side. You, you choose to forever, you know, put like this. But it's okay because look at the fork. It's so freaking cute. Okay, we're going to do that. That fork is down. Now this, um, hmm, I feel like it's photo is why I'm just touching it. And I don't know why. Um, I feel like I want to use tape on it. So let's put some tape on this little guy. And get him stuck in here. Oops. Again, I say this all the time with the tape. You know, if it runs off the edge, you can just fold it back onto itself. That's completely fine. And you don't need that much tape on it, but I had it in my hand. So easy peasy. This tape is always listed below if you guys are interested with an Amazon link, which obviously you know how they work. I get a little whatever. Um, I really like it. I now have two sizes of it because I ended up buying the thinner size as well. Oh, now that's interesting. His tail's going to be, that's not really where I wanted his tail, but that's okay. Um, okay. Does he go over here? I feel like he's in a map, like a children's book, like, Hey, look at Antarctica. Or does he go next to the fork? Um, hmm, that's kind of interesting. My envision originally was like he was holding the fork, right? But I kind of like him over here. We're going to put him over here. Because he kind of looks like, hey, look, come see Antarctica. It's beautiful. He wants to show you. Not that he lives there, but on this page he does. And we're going to, uh, I got to decide where to put stuff, right? I don't want to cover up some of these names. So I'm going to put some hearts on here out of our triangle paper. I... I think Antarctica is fascinating and I wish I knew more about it. And so I hope to learn um, more one day. I will not be going there. I don't think I have any interest in that. But obviously when my boy goes one day, then I will be interested in learning. You know, we don't want one in the middle. Like that's not... Uh, I don't want four. There has to be the odd number, right? So it either goes up here or like down here. I think it goes down here. All right, there it is. Okay, so, I mean, super easy, right? And I had, I had highlighted the ones that I had gotten out. So there we go. Eat is the fork. Antarctica is the map. Raccoon is there. Triangle paper and a heart. Now... Let's just see. This is really wet. Oh, do you see it soaking through? That's interesting because I print. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because I printed this on my computer. Excuse me. The wetness. You can see it coming through this paper. Because I use that cheap Elmer's glue on it. So we'll just help it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
I don't care that it wrinkles the paper. I actually really like that. Um, what I um, don't want is for the colors of the ink to bleed. Okay, so the only thing we have to do is fold the fork. Yeah, like that. Okay, now, now let's decide what we want to do with this. So I think, I mean, I'm tempted just to glue it on. I think, um, I think that's fine. So, ouch. Uh, I just poked myself with a, I picked up a sticker book and the staple is coming out. That's really weird. Um, I think what I'd like to do is, um, kind of do an outline on here. And that will make it stand out just a little bit. And then I might even I think we might even outline the letters a little bit. What do you think? That again is a one shot deal, right? The issue is like this letter clearly is outside the lines if we outline it. Not too sure what we want to do with that. Uh, let's make any other decisions we want now. My only other thought is we could add color to this. Now I'm just thinking and questioning how I want to do that because I don't. I don't know if I want to add like watercolor. Oh my gosh, you guys, the tea is like delicious. I've never had chocolate tea and it's, it's going to be in my shopping cart the next time I go that I know. So even this we have, that's not quite wide enough. Look at this cool envelope, you guys. And I'm just looking what scrap stuff I have in my bucket right here. Oh, you know what I have? What about that? Because like really, when else are we going to use that, right? Let's see here. Would that be kind of fun? If we use the April paper behind it, because it's blue, and then we'll put that on there like that. Sure. Why not? Why not? It's not as like, mm, what do I want to say? It's not as earthy as I was hoping for. Is that, is that a word? Is that, do you get what I'm saying? It's not as, okay. Let's just see here for a second. Let's just, <laughs> oh, you won't believe, you won't believe the pile I have next to me. Okay. This is this is magazine cutouts that need to be filed. Now, why do I have them out? Well, because they need to be filed and they don't necessarily fit oh gosh, into my drawer, which is the rule. And so, however, um, Ooh, I also have another file of, isn't she fun? I know we've used her like four times, but I don't know what, ad, I don't know what ad she's here for, but yeah, these all need to be filed. But, but I will tell you, I'm, I'm tickling with the idea. I'm, I'm feeling the pull. I'm 
fill in the poll, you guys, to try that dang glue book again. Because all y'all are doing it. And if you can do it, I can do it. But I think, yeah, I don't know. I know, I say that, and then then I, I start it, and I'm, like, yelling at it. Um, okay, now I have a vision, and this is not even... It's not even part of my collage or my, you know. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> that's a piece of my boys. Oh my gosh, there's an old protein shake. Do I need that bag? No, I do not. Get rid of it. Oh, we might need it. Did you see you guys? I almost put it in the trash. <laughs> I almost did it. Let me just explain to you for a second what's happening here. And if I want to, hmm, I don't know, because I'll tell you what's kind of cool about these besides the amazing shake is look at that side. Oh gosh, you guys. Okay. I don't know right now. It can't go in the trash. That's what I know. I just saved it twice. All right, I am looking, now I have a vision of what I want, so let me, now I got to find it. I don't know if I have it, I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, because I don't, I don't like this as much as I want to. Does that make sense? Is that a thing? All right, so let's go to the cutout drawer. And let's go to the file of oh, not that one all right here's my cutout drawer and I have them I know big surprise in file folders so I normally put it kind of like this people animals to be filed. Work, food, faces, hands, buildings, backgrounds, random. Of course it's on the bottom. Earth. Not even joking. The bottom file. Okay. Is there something in the earth file? I know you can't see it. It's on my lap. Give me one second. Even if we used something like that, it would, I think, make me happier. Because it would look like that. All right, so that's an option. I mean, oh. We have that we could cut kind of like right here this piece you're not going to see I mean I get I get it you're not going to see it I get it I get it I get it all right maybe this one needs to be saved interesting that I have it in earth and not animals right welcome welcome to Allison's brain all right this one's fun we would get some that one's kind of fun with the green and the blue. Okay, I'm liking that one more than this one. We're just auditioning different pieces here. Oh, look at that, you guys. Maybe we'll put that on the last page of this month's journal. All right, we have shoes and desert and mountains. Because, yes, we live in the Pacific Northwest. Look at that. Is that not fun? All right, uh, I think the one we picked is going to work. I have more mountains. That's not earth to me right now. I want something. Um, you get what I'm saying. Or maybe you don't, and that's okay, too. Flowers. Oh, where Allison wants to be right now. Where Allison wants to be right now. Okay. That one's going to win, and the folder goes back in, and the drawer goes in. Here we go. So this gets to be what? A little short of five by seven and a half. Okay, let's cut it, shall we? So it's going to be... Uh, 
Um, well, let's get a square cut to start with. All right. Um, I think I want some green if I can, so I think we'll cut it this way. Right there. Um, I, I think I cut it too long. What did I say? Five? A little short of five. It's too long. Um, you guys, my husband came home from work. He's all riled up. He's got all sorts of stuff going on. Um, but, oh, I just want to take an ooch, an ooch this way and an ooch this way. <laughs> um, And so this weekend, he um, he's getting sent up to work. Okay. And uh, we thought it was going to be for like four days, kind of like Friday through Monday type thing. And I was like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to go because I made other plans. And it's like the third set of plans this weekend. It's, it's kind of making me mad because we were supposed to go see the Rue. Um, but anyway... Um, and so he got home and, and he's just like, it's been a day. I'm just telling you, we have emotional stuff going on. And so if they're sending him to work for like over 10 days. And he's like, uh, are you coming with me? And I'm like, um, I don't know. I wasn't planning on it. So I think that, um, yes, I just, I literally just measured it like seven times. Um, I think that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I have to think about what I can do about work and, but <laughs> that's a long time <laughs> and it just sucks. It just like the work sucks when he's gone. Like it's just hard, you know, and just, uh, anyway. Okay. So I did cut it a little short, but that's fine. I can like move this up or down. I was just trying to see like uh, we get to decide if I want the grass here, if we want to, you know, uh, I actually kind of like it there. Okay. Gosh, I think we're going to try a glue stick on this instead of that wet liquid glue. Oh, we are, we are down to the nitty gritty on the glue sticks. Um, I didn't turn a timer on you guys. Just, just hang with me. I don't know how long I've been doing this. I'm so sorry. I got a little distracted on the the extra page part here. I'm just digging out this glue stick so we can, we can use it. Um, whoops. So yeah, I mean, he'll, he's going to go for like the first four days, the, the part we thought he was going to be, cause I, I don't want to go. I mean, I, I already made plans for all day Saturday, so I guess I could go, I guess I could go up Saturday night, but I don't know. Um, but then I have to be in the office on Tuesday. Like I, I can't work via the hotel computer type thing, but I'm wondering if the rest of the week I could. <laughs> so I'm not too sure how that would work exactly, but, um, I don't know. It might be kind of fun, right? I can go stay in the hotel while he well, he works. I can work from there. I don't know. I don't know. So it'll be interesting. Oh my goodness. What a day. What a day. Got to just roll with the punches. That's all we can do. All right. So look how wrinkled this piece of paper is, you guys. I mean, yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. It's so pretty. Now we can still even do a, a tip out if we want. I don't think I need to. I think I'm going to go ahead and secure it down, but it has, it has some prettiness behind it, which I'm happy with now. So we'll keep digging out the glue, keep digging out the glue. 
we're going to we're going to finish off these two glue sticks right now. I think I have to go into the other one. That's like literally all I can get out of this one. And it's probably enough for this actually. Let's see. Well, no. Actually it is. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we'll make a decision and it looks something like that. Okay. 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 Now I actually love this thing. I'm going to put it in the back of the journal this month or somewhere, somewhere, some, Oh, my fingers are what, you know, covered in glue. This I'm going to put right. Oh, maybe I'll put it kind of like that. I like it kind of up like that. And because my glue wasn't sitting upside down. Sure. Just like that. It's perfect. This is going in water because it's covered in glue. Okay, so that is our prompt page for today. It's in my creative daily journal. We went ahead and um, we just were made a giant fold out, right? And so now it looks like this. And my prompts from this sweet week from my boy, um, the word itself is earth. The prompts were eat. So we have the fork. Antarctica we have, raccoon we have down here, triangle was this paper that we cut our hearts out of. And so that is the prompts. So I will go ahead and journal those on this, um, you know, card here in terms of memory. So we remember in the future, right? And I know we never think we're going to forget, but that's the whole reason we journal, right? It's like, cause I don't remember what we had to dinner that Tuesday night, 10 years ago or whatever. And now we'll have it in our journal. So I will write about the boy choosing the prompts and, um, yeah, that's it. You guys, I am so grateful you're here. Thank you so much for like following along. And if you're participating again, please let us know. Uh, comment on this video, but anywhere you put it, just hashtag it, right? And we will try and find it, but you can always tag myself or Melissa as well. And um, I will have her channel linked below. Uh, she normally posts before me. We'll see, uh, you know, when this goes up, but they'll both go up tomorrow. So if you haven't checked out her video already, please go over and do that. I, I have no idea what her prompts are. She had uh, someone else uh, pick hers as well. And so it'll be interesting to see. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to wake up and watch that tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for being here, you guys. I hope you're enjoying the prompts as much as we are. I appreciate this community so much. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.